Subpaisa, one of India's leading payment gateways, offers a single platform for payment collection to payouts. We are the only payment gateway that supports all types of payments, cards, net banking, UPI, wallets, and offline. In this video, we will learn to integrate the Subpesa payment gateway with the Laravel application. Before we begin, we must take the credentials from your account manager and save the credentials in your system. Open the Laravel standard integration document from the Subpesa website. Start the integration process. Below are the steps to be followed. Step 1. Initialize the Laravel PHP code for the Subpesa payment gateway. Open your Laravel project firstly. We create a PHP class named Authentication within the utility's namespace. We start by defining two constants, namely OpenSLA cipher name for A's. 128, CBC algorithm, and cipher cake lean for the desired key length of 16 characters. Moving on to the IFKI method. Its purpose is to ensure the encryption key is of the correct length. If it's too short, we pad it with zeros. If it's too long, we truncate it. Now let's implement the encrypt method. This function takes a key, an initialization vector, IV, and data as input. It encrypts the data using A's, 128, CBC, BASA64, encodes the result, and combines it with the BASA60 for encoded DV, separated by a colon. We are transitioning to the decrypt method. This function reverses the encryption process. It takes an encrypted payload, splits it into encrypted data, and IV decrypts it using OpenSOL and returns the original data. These methods collectively provide a secure mechanism for handling sensitive information, ensuring data confidentiality during transmission and storage. To start, we create a PHP class named subpaysa request within the Apple Kotkut controller's namespace, extending the base controller class. Our method, initiate payment, is the heart of this script. It kicks off by starting a session, allowing us to manage data across multiple requests. Now let's initialize merchant credentials essential for Subpesa integration. These include the client code, username, password, encryption key, and initialization vector. Please ensure to use the credentials provided by your account manager. If not, kindly get in touch with your account manager for the necessary information. Moving on, we set up payer information for the transaction, including the payer's name, email, mobile number, and address. Moving on, transaction details such as the client transaction ID, amount, amount type, merchant category code, channel ID, and callback URL are then defined. As an extra feature, we showcase how to use additional parameters. We include a class and role in this example as extra parameters. You can use up to 20 extra parameters for customization. With all the necessary data in place, we construct the encrypted data string for the Subpesa payment request, incorporating all mandatory transaction details. Pass extra parameters in UDF1 to UDF20. Now, let's encrypt the data using the authentication class we've previously defined. This class ensures secure data handling using A's, 128, CBC encryption. Let's delve into creating the pay.blade.php file to initiate a payment request through UI. In your resources views directory, create a new file named pay.blade.php. This file will render the payment details page. Inside pay.blade.php, we start with the usual HTML structure. Feel free to add any necessary head elements or styling specific to your payment page. We include a simple heading and create placeholders to display essential payment details such as the client code and encrypted data. You can customize this file further by adding more details or styling elements to enhance the payment page's visual appeal. For testing purposes, we set the form action to Subpesa's stage URL. However, when deploying in a live environment, 
Make sure to switch this to the production URL provided by SubPaisa. Now, we go back to the SubPaisa request and with the encrypted data prepared, we pass it, along with the client code, to the APAYView for further processing. And that wraps up our SubPaisa request controller script. It provides a seamless way to initiate payments within a Laravel application. We're diving into the SubPaisa response handling ensuring a smooth transaction flow. We create a PHP class named SubPaisa response within the app controller's namespace, extending the base controller class. The SubPaisa response controller, a crucial component in processing and interpreting SubPaisa's encrypted responses, in the response method, our journey begins by extracting the encrypted response from the incoming request. For secure decryption, we utilize the predefined encryption key and initialization vector. These values play a vital role in unlocking the encrypted payload. We instantiate our authentication class, a reliable companion for decrypting the subpaser response securely. With the encrypted response decrypted, we use the trusty Strasdocs function to break down the response into manageable tokens. Here, we loop through the tokens, extracting key, value pairs, and assigning them to meaningful variables. This structured approach ensures clarity and precision in handling the diverse set of information SubPaysA provides in its response. Feel free to expand the logic within the loop based on your project requirements. Additional processing can be incorporated as needed. Let's delve into creating the response.blade.php view to present this information to our users. Head over to your resource of views directory and let's initiate the creation of our response page. Create a new file named response.blade.php. This file will serve as the canvas for elegantly displaying the decrypted subpaysa response. Let's start with the standard HTML structure. Create a simple heading welcoming users to the response page. This sets the stage for presenting the decrypted subpaysa response in an organized manner. Next step is to update our subpaysa response controller to return this view, completing the user experience loop. Crafting the response.blade.php view where we'll showcase the decrypted response to users in a user-friendly format. Next, we define the parameters in the response blade for the response. Next, setting up the essential routes for payment initiation and response. To initiate a payment, we have a route named initiate payment. This route triggers the initiate payment method within our SAPESA request controller. Now for handling payment responses, we've set up a post route named payment response. This route corresponds to the response method in our subpaysa response controller. Now save your web.php file, and you're all set to handle subpaysa payments through these defined routes. Don't forget the callback URL to get the response after payment is done. This is the entire flow to integrate the subpaysa payment gateway. Still have any queries? Please go through the reference code. Step 2. Access the SubPaysa checkout page. After initiating the payment request, SubPaysa checkout page appears. Here, you can seamlessly select your preferred payment mode, enter the necessary payment details, and proceed to complete the payment. Once done, the system generates a response, providing you with key information, including the amount and payment status. Thank you. Visit subpesa.in to know more information.